All right, friends. Welcome again to another session on lines and angles. In the previous session, we discussed about measurement of an angle, isn't it? We discussed about measurement, angle measurement, measurement of an angle, and we discussed three ways of measuring an angle. One was sexagesimal, the other one was centesimal, and uh, uh, the most commonly used is uh, the circular measure. Measure that is in radians. So, but one thing which I missed out uh, in you know the last session to tell you is that one in in sexagesimal system where angles are measured in degrees, this was the conversion. So one degree is equal to sixty seconds. Sorry, sixty minutes. Okay, sixty minutes, sixty minutes, uh, and it is also denoted as sixty, and then this sign here. 60 minutes okay and one minute one minute is equal to 60 seconds and it is given my double dash okay so 60 seconds 60 seconds so please keep in mind so for example if i have uh three degree um and then it's usually written as three degree uh 20 minutes and 35 seconds that means this is three degrees. So uh, total number of seconds, if you if you see what is the total number of seconds here is nothing but three into 60 into 60 plus 20 into 60 plus 35. These many seconds are there. Okay. Right. So in one minute, how many seconds are there? 3600 seconds are there. 60 times 60. Okay. This is what uh, was not discussed in the last class so if you see in geography when you discuss about latitude and latitude and longitude so actually we measure the angles to this precision right so degrees minutes and seconds this is a application of it another thing is the concept of negative angle so there is negative angle is also possible negative angle while measuring we might have negative angle what does it mean so the convention says if you are measuring the angle in anti-clockwise direction so if you're measuring from positive axis in anti-clockwise direction then this is considered to be positive angle okay while if you are measuring in clockwise direction from positive x-axis then it is negative angle so angles can be negative as well as positive and we will see the application the application is uh, uh, quite large in let's say areas of trigonometry and other such application areas okay so hence please remember though theta is positive or angle is positive if you measure in anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction is considered to be positive okay and clockwise direction clockwise direction is considered to be negative okay so please keep this thing in mind now let's talk about actions related to angle and the first axiom is congruent angle measure axiom what does it mean and what does axioms mean basically so axioms are nothing but facts mathematical facts uh, which are established and they need de not have any proofs as such okay so they are established facts which are you know um, which are not dependent on the proofs so congruent angle measure axiom says that two angles are congruent if they have same measure that means if you have two angles here if you see angle abc is equal to angle pqr if the measure is same then they are called congruent angles similarly if they are congruent then their measures will be same so this is what is uh, uh, you know expressed by congruent angle measure action right so two angles are congruent if they have the same measure and vice versa that means if two angles are having same measure measure means if they have same degrees or radians then the two angles are congruent this is congruent angle measure action now the second uh, action says angle addition action and what is this let's say you have a point p in the interior of the in the interior region of the angle right there's a point p here now point P, if you join B 
and angle ABC is the given angle and you are joining point BP points BP then angle addition axiom says that angle ABC will be equal to angle ABP plus angle PBC that means theta plus phi is equal to angle ABC right so hence for example if you have let's say 15 degree here and let's say this is 90 degree here so the total angle will be nothing but 90 plus 15 which is 105 degrees okay this is what angle axiom angle addition axiom says the third angle is angle construction axiom and what does it mean it says that if there is a ray ab an angle of same measure can always be constructed on either sides of ab that means if you see here is a line ab ray ab and i have drawn another ray ap such that angle a angle p a b is theta and i've drawn another ray a q like that such that angle q a b is phi and it happens to be that theta is equal to phi okay so hence i can draw same measure angle on both sides of a given ray that's another axiom and that's called angle construction axiom I hope the three actions are clear to you and the concept of negative angle and the conversion between degree, minutes and seconds. Okay, so we'll meet you in the next session.